We've all been there, living from paycheck to paycheck, never building any real savings. That kind of stress is the last thing you need. Creating a rainy day fund or an emergency fund is a great way to give yourself peace of mind for the future. Essentially, it's just money you've put aside for something unexpected, because it's always good to be prepared, right? But how much should you put into an emergency fund? And what's the difference between that and a rainy day fund? Well, let me show you. Basically, an emergency fund is a financial safety net protecting you and your bank balance from life's unexpected events. Instead of maxing out overdrafts or having to borrow money, you can dip into your designated crisis fund without worrying about the knock-on effect for the rest of your finances. Emergency funds should only be used when you really have no choice, if you've lost your job or you have to cover sudden medical expenses. A rainy day fund helps pay for life's smaller surprise expenses. Maybe you need to grab that last minute train ticket for your mum's birthday, or maybe the coffee machine broke. As we all know, happy mums and coffee are essential to survival. Creating both an emergency and a rainy day fund is a huge stress reliever. You can dip into your rainy day fund safe in the knowledge that your bigger safety net is still there. On top of that, you'll develop a money-saving mentality, which sounds boring, but can actually change your life. With one eye on the future, you're much less likely to make those rash financial decisions today that could leave you in trouble tomorrow. Starting and maintaining a saving fund might seem daunting at first, but if you follow these steps, it's actually pretty easy and quicker than you might think. Track your expenses over a 30-day period and separate them between fixed and variable. Then, decide what percentage of your variable costs you could contribute each month towards the rainy day fund and to your emergency fund. For example, if your monthly income is €2,600 and your fixed costs are €1,600, you'll be left with 1000 a month of variable costs. You might decide to save 25%. That's 250 euro every month. By the end of the year, you'd have saved 3,000 euro, which is enough for a sizable rainy day fund, plus the beginnings of an emergency fund. Turns out being sensible with money does have its appeal after all. Struggling to get the ball rolling with your rainy day and emergency saving goals? Here are some smart ways to free up a little extra cash. Put any tax rebates, work bonuses, or money you receive as a gift straight into your rainy day or emergency fund. Free up some extra money and declutter your home in the process by selling any unused stuff online. That's pretty tidy. Consider taking up a side gig or putting in a few extra hours at work and then use this extra cash to kickstart your emergency or rainy day funds. Attempt a no spend month or if that's too difficult, nominate just one weekend each month where you stay home, catch up on your reading, your TV, and save some money. See, there is always a solution. So get on track and discover tools that make saving easier with N26. For more tips on hitting your goals, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all your financial needs.